Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's a beautiful day here in Oregon, so we decided why not wheel the table outside yeah. and answer a couple questions that you guys asked. I will admit, a little while back, but better late than never. So, we're gonna answer a couple of your questions that you guys had, and specifically, these are gonna be questions in regards to the 22 plus WRX, and this is your car, right, Jeff? Yeah. Not so clean, but it's my car. Eh, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, you daily, it, I drive right? It. Yeah. Um, I mean, while we've got it here, do you just want to talk about anything in particular that you enjoy about the car, or maybe don't enjoy about the car? I don't know. Um, no. No, nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's lots of great things about the car. Um, it's the best WRX ever, definitely. Okay. You know, people argue that all the time about STI and WRX and comparing other WRXs, it's still the best WRX they've ever made. Get past the looks, you'll love the car. Um, mm -hmm. It's so easy to mod, it makes tons of power. I love it, I drive it every day and you know, I look forward to driving it every day. I'll admit, in the <laughs> beginning, when we first brought in the cars, cause we've got, we've got your personal car right here and then we do have, um, you guys have seen it, we've got the white shop car. I was not a huge fan of the plastics, but yeah. they've definitely grown on me. It's gone back to those rally roots and whatnot, yeah. so. I think the old ones look boring now. They're just too plain and smooth, and I kind of like the black. I'm happy with it. Every, everything I will never paint it. I'll, I'll never paint them. I like it. The contrast is cool. In regards to our front mount intercoolers, are we going to be making any sort of crash bar for the front mount? We will not make a crash bar, but we will probably come out with some sort of a bumper, bumper beam kind of a replacement, but we wouldn't call it a crash beam, you know, okay. legal reasons, but um, it's in the works and maybe this summer it'll be out. There you go. So not a crash bar, but we will have something in regards of at least protecting yeah. the front mount in the event well, of maybe, maybe a small inner front, front mount collision. intercooler protector. Okay. How about that? Front mount intercooler protector, yeah. folks. That's what we are going to be potentially in development. FMICP. FMICP. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We're, we're going to trademark that one. <laughs> we're going to move on to, this is our front pipe. Depending on when we've released this video, we may already have it out. Um, if not, it is, I kid you not, right behind this video. So stay tuned if it's not already out. But this is our front pipe for the 22 plus. Some questions in regard to J pipes, which I know we're in the works of. We've got some prototypes. We're playing around with some stuff and hopefully in the near future. I uh, don't have any specific dates, unfortunately, but near future is our J pipe. When we do release it, is it going to cause any check engine lights? I know the answer to it, but the reason why it's not out is because we couldn't guarantee that it wouldn't throw a check engine light. We've been testing something that solves that problem. So this does not cause any check engine lights. No, our front Which is the most important thing, which is why this is out and not the other. And um, people cannot and should not try to turn off check engine lights. So that's why we have this. And I think it will be more popular than J-pipes because it does almost the same job on the dyno on a stage one car as the whole thing does. So, um, but pushing beyond that, someone might want the front section, which turns us into a full J pipe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, soon. Why wait for the J pipe when we've got the front pipe, you know? Get the front pipe, then get the J pipe. Yeah. You know? And Button we might just up. even make an upgrade. So if you got this and you want the other, maybe you could just buy the front part. Hmm. Something to think about there. This is a question we get quite often, are we going to be making, I think you know the question, neon yellow oh. boost tubes for the 22 plus WRX? Um, yes, and before the end of the year. Mm, there we have it. Now, the year is still relatively new, so take that with a grain of salt, but uh, it has been something that has been asked by numerous people plenty times so we've really taken that into consideration we know we've got 
numerous colors for the 15 plus so yes i think you can definitely you don't have to hold your breath for too much longer we should have neon yellow boost tubes for the 22 plus before the end of the year and reach out to us we can put you on a list make sure that uh when they're available we can reach out to you great that's what we like to hear so We've got three more questions Ooh, here. Three. We've got three more. Um, let's go ahead and address what oil lines would somebody need to install our transmission cooler on a base CVT 22 plus WRX? Um, we'll have a kit soon, but uh, we will just be including 14, 15 feet of some transmission hose and a couple extra connectors and some clamps and it'll fit on the car. And is that something you can get from our website now? Not yet. Or no. very in soon. Near, near future? Yep. Okay, awesome. We're going back to intercoolers, but this time we're not talking about front mounts anymore. We're gonna trickle on to our little brother, the top mount. Are we gonna be making any shroud? for the top mount intercooler, specifically for the 22 plus? Um, probably. Okay. Uh, not a lot of people have asked about it. Some people clearly have asked about it. But yeah, we've only, we've kind only of on had a couple people ask. It's on the short list of things to do. Sorry, it's on the long list of things to do. <laughs> it's not short, um, but um, I think we will. And we chose not to include it with it, mostly because of the cost. Yeah. So it's kind of a future upgrade. The performance benefits for most people will be small, but you know, that's the point, is make something that makes a little extra horsepower and maybe it looks a little cooler in the car. Hey, not saying our top mount isn't cool, but I mean... Well, it is an inner cooler. We got front mounts, people. I mean, how much cooler does it get? And you can get a lot more power out of the front yeah, mount. Yeah, for, for not too much more, the front mount is might be a better choice than buying the top mount yeah. and then the shroud. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of one of those other reasons that behind the scenes why we didn't have that service. Yeah, this, no. it's a true performance upgrade, people. Yeah. Our last question, I can answer this one pretty well, but I mean, oh. if, if you've, I'll just leave. if you want to interject, I mean, yeah, get out of here. We don't need you anymore. Uh, no, uh, our, our last tech talk was about the 22 plus diverter valve. And we had a couple people, a small handful, ask if we could do an install video on it. Again, depending on when this video has uh, been released, we have already done an install video for the front pipe. So we are getting into the loop of uh, coming out with install videos. You guys have been asking for them for a long time and we're finally having enough downtime to incorporate install videos. Um, I, I don't see why that couldn't be our next install video. I know it's definitely a more bit, complicated. Yeah, it's more yeah. complicated. I understand why you guys are asking for it. Um, but yes, we will get an install video out for the diverter valve for the 22 plus, uh, uh, along with various other install videos come for both old parts and most certainly new parts. Yeah. As long as that sounds good to you. Sure. Because I, I have no problem, you know, talking and making up words, but you're a lot better at wrenching and installing parts. So We will do it for every part at some point. Every part at some point. Well, that was all of our questions. Um, if there's any questions that you guys have that we didn't answer or you just want to say hello, just leave a comment down below and we'll answer your comments, your questions, concerns, your hate mail, whatever it is. I'm going to respond to it and get back to you as soon as we can. But until next time, if you like the video, y'all know what to do. Record. Yes, we wanged the last one. Is that plural for, or past tense for wing? Winged? I think so. I think so. Oh, wanged. Winged and wanged. Yeah. I, I, you winged it, I wanged it. Yep.